How's it going everyone? This video is going to be over inducement. First thing we're going to do is define inducement and what it looks like, and then we will go into some examples. Inducement is essentially a move that induces buyers or sellers into the market. So for example, right here, it looks as if we are gaining support and we are going to break over this high. So people who are breakout buyers will be buying right here. Similarly, anyone short in here will have their buy stops resting above here. So we have willing participants buying above these highs. This is where smart money sells short for the move lower. Another way to think about this is this is our accumulation, this is our manipulation, and this is our distribution. With bullish order flow, it looks as if we've hit resistance. And so when we break this low, breakout sellers enter the market, as well as people who are long in here get stopped out. This is where smart money buys, for the move higher. So just like over on this side, we have our accumulation, our manipulation, and then our distribution. So simply put, with bearish order flow, I'm looking for highs to be ran to position short. And with bullish order flow, I'm looking for lows to be ran to position long. So looking at the second diagram, if the trend is down or order flow is bearish, I'm looking for short setups above previous highs. Once I hit the higher time frame PD array, I'm looking for the inducement that occurs at the smart money reversal. Order flow is bullish. I am then looking for long setups below lows. So for example, these deviations from the range are where I am hunting setups. The last thing that I will mention is I prefer these to occur within PD arrays. So we have an inducement into a PD array and then a move higher. And we will get into some examples for that. For our first example, we have S&P five minute chart up, and we are currently trending down. As we continue here, what we notice is a failure to close below this low. We have this high right here. If we break this high, we will shift structure upward. And there we go, we get our market structure shift. And from here, what do we have? We have an order block or fair value gap. Now let's see what happens. So you can see how price respected this fair value gap, the consequent encroachment of it, as well as this order block. Now, if we let this continue to play out, what happens? Before price continues up and takes this high, what it does is it engineers more buy side liquidity right here. It then runs down and sweeps this low. This is the inducement right here before then expanding upwards. So what would it look like if I was going to take this inducement setup? Well, let's go ahead and rewind that to here. And what I do is I position myself to enter this trade once we break this low with my stop where it normally would be partial at this high. So if we let this play out again, you'll see how that works. Tweaking a quick look at the diagram I made for this price action here, you can see once order flow becomes bullish right here after the structure shift, I then look for a low to be ran before going higher. For the next example here, we have the 15 minute chart for the S&P 500. And what do we have? We have an aggressive move down an aggressive move back up with overlapping fair value gaps. Now what happens when we play this ahead? So you can see a nice stop run right here. As we can't close back, we reach back into this fair value gap. What do we do now? We reach back up, we can't close over this high. And what do we have resting down here within a PD array, a low? Right there, we take this low, completely fill in this fair value gap. And where do we expect price to reach now? Our current buy side and this high. And then we get a nice expansion move higher. So if we look at this diagram right here, we had a low in a PD array, which was then taken prior to the actual move. My favorite setups are when price barely reaches into this PD array as it did here. Or if we have equilibrium of the range, price did not yet reach into an equilibrium or a discount. 
and it just puts a low right there. That is what I like to see. Our next example is on NQ five minute chart. So if you look right here, we have a strong impulsive move up. However, I am expecting a retracement. We come up, cannot close over this high, and then get an aggressive move down. You can see it retests the old high and then continues lower. Now what I look for here is we have an old low right here. And where is that low sitting within a fair value gap? So watching these next candles, we can see we struggle to close lower. And from here, I'd want to see an expansion higher. And there we go, we go take this current high. For this next example, we are going to go out to the four hour chart. If you can see right here, we ran this previous low, closed back into the range, and then we got a displacement move higher. Now, if you notice here, we have a fair value gap and price putting in a low here. As we let this continue forward, we get a move below that low no closes below it, and then a continuation higher. Letting this continue. There is a fair value gap. And then here is another low. And we are struggling to reach higher, so we're likely to draw lower towards this low. If you notice, struggling to reach lower, especially with the strong close right here, I would then want to see price reach up towards buy side liquidity. And there we go. So that is an example of one, two inducement moves in this price leg. Last thing I'm going to go over is how I use this in trending markets. This is very similar to my displacement versus lack of displacement video. So if you haven't seen that, I'll put that in the top right. But when we are trending up, I want to look for lows to be ran to gain entry. And so if you notice right here, we ran a low. Here we ran a low. And then here we ran a low. So in just this section right here, there are three possible entries. And if you notice how these closes respect these old lows, that is the key. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving it a like and subscribing. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. See ya.